So happy new year, happy new month. God bless every one of you in the name of Jesus. We are here again for our prayer program, and I'm glad and delighted to have you on board. Just like we have just been told, this is Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. Uh, the name suggests that it's only for singles, but going through the membership of the group, you find out that the group does not only comprise of people that are married, there are, it's comprised of different groups. In fact, many of the people there are married. So in order to help ourselves with prayer, we can't, because we can't just be talking, be discussing, be answering questions, as well as just be uh, bringing up matters without supporting it with prayer. Anything you do, you have to pray. From the beginning, you see, the people were not praying. But the Bible says in chapter 5 that when Seth was born, Adam gave birth to Seth. Then from that time, people began to call upon God. And they, they found it necessary because the joy and the enjoyment of pleasant garden that was created without any effort from the hand of man, I mean Adam or Eve, was no more there. They've been sent out. Now there was, they've been sent out. They were on their own. And they, they found out the reality of life, that without God, life itself is empty. So they needed God. And God was not as available as he was to them. When he would come back, come down at the cool of the day to have fellowship with them. Now, God had distanced himself because of sin. And for that reason, men needed to call on God. And uh, it has not changed. Right from how it was in Genesis, that's the same way it is now. God still wants men to call on him. When Jesus Christ, our Lord, came, he told us, he said, you have to ask if you want to be given, you have to seek if you want to find, you have to knock if you want to be opened for, because it's either asset received, either seeker find it, and either knock it, the door shall be opened unto him. So the principle has not changed. And Jesus, even though he was God in flesh, he called on the Father, who was able to deliver him, who was able to help him. And uh, he's... Uh, contingent on us as a group that we find at least once a day in every month to call on God. And I want you every time that the, the information is pasted on the group to always encourage others to be there. It's, it's live on Facebook. Once you click uh, the link, you are going to join live on Facebook. The most important thing is that every one of us should pray. I welcome you once again. The, I, I clear the impression that even though it's only it's titled Deeper Life Singles, it's not only singles that are there. And the prayer is a general prayer. And I'm telling you, the prayer is a general prayer. Everyone needs prayer. We are not praying only for people that want to marry here. Like we are going to be praying today. We are going to be praying about our blood, our bloodline. And tonight is going to be powerful because I believe that the blood of Jesus Christ will flow in somebody's blood today. It will flow in my blood. It will flow in your blood. And any evil deposit that is inside anyone's blood, that is causing cancer, that is causing ulcer, that is for anything, the blood of Jesus Christ will wash them away today in the mighty name of Jesus. And I believe you'll be touched. I believe you'll be blessed. I believe we are going to bless. I will pray together. Almighty Jesus, we are grateful for tonight. Thank you, Lord, because you are worthy of all our praise. You are worthy of all our worship. You are worthy of all our things. And we give them to you, Father. Be glorified and be exalted in Jesus' name. Thank you for month after month we have been coming. Coming into your presence to pray. Coming into your presence to knock at the gate of heaven. And we are so much grateful because every time we call, you are always answering us. You are always giving us answers to our request. For that, we lift up your name. We say, accept our thanks and our praises in Jesus' name. Today, we are beginning the month Can Camel series. Father, I pray that these series, as we are starting the first today, no matter how long the series will last, I pray in the name of Jesus, you will use it to meet us at the point of our needs in Jesus' name. You will use it to open closed doors. You will use it to open heaven on our behalf. You will use it to do great and mighty things that we know not in our lives in Jesus' name. And especially we pray that tonight, heaven will open. God will come down into everyone's location and will do his work in our lives in Jesus' name. We bless you, Lord, because you have answered our prayers. 
for in Jesus' name we have prayed. We give you glory, Lord, and we worship you. We give you glory, Lord, and we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Father, we declare that we love you. Declare an everlasting love for you. Father, I declare that I love you. I declare an everlasting love for you. Yes, Lord, brothers and sisters joining me, I want you to open your mouth and glorify the name of this, our King and our Lord. I want us to begin to worship the name of the Most High God who has kept us alive. The name of the Most High God who has been faithful to us is a faithful Father, a loving God, a wonderful God, a glorious God, a great God. I want you to appreciate him and say, Father, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of your heart, from the depth of your being. I want you to say thank you to our God. The Bible says he's a holy God. Even the angels as great as they are, that can run at the speed of lightning, even faster. The Bible says they cannot look at the face of this great God. The God who sits in the heavens and takes the whole of his earth, the whole of the earth as he's supposed to, a mighty God, a powerful God. They cannot look at his face. They have to use their wings to cover their face and cover their leg. Why? Because they cannot come and appear before him like that. He's too holy. Christ, holy God, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. That was why when Isaiah, the prophet, who had been preaching from chapter one chapter to chapter five, when he got to chapter six in the year that King Uzziah died and saw the glory of the Lord, he saw himself as an unclean person. He saw comparing the majesty and glory and holiness of the most high God to his life. In, he saw himself as unclean. I want you to worship this holy God and say, Father, I thank you. Mighty God, I worship you. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. The angels are singing. The 24 elders are bowing down, casting their crown and saying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, the Lamb of God that taketh the sin of the whole world away. I want you to appreciate him. It's if he has indeed taken your sins away, if you are indeed bought, by the blood of the Lamb. If you are indeed washed by the precious blood of the Lamb, I want you to worship the name of God and say, Father, I thank you. I thank you because the blood of Jesus has washed me. I thank you because the blood of Jesus has purged me. I thank you because the blood of Jesus has cleansed me from all unrighteousness. If truly you have been born again from all your iniquities and all your sins, you have turned 180 degree backward from the life of sin, from the direction of hell that you were going before. And there's a change of life. There's a change of life, a newness of life. Appreciate Calvary. Appreciate Calvary. Appreciate Jesus who went to Calvary, all the way to Calvary, endured the shame, the beating, the cruelty of humans, of soldiers, of heralds, as well as of Pilate, just because of my salvation and your salvation. Say, thank you, Lord, because I'm born again. I want you to appreciate God for all his grace in your life, keeping you in the faith and being wonderful too. And indeed, if you are not yet born again, you mustn't allow, you must not allow all the effort of Christ to be in vain in your life. Hell is not your portion. You must not go there. Heaven is your Lord. A mansion is being prepared for you there. You have to repent and surrender your heart to Jesus so that you can be a candidate of that kingdom of heaven. Praise him and say, Father, I thank you. And if you need to repent, I want you to take this time now to begin to say, God, I'm sorry. Have mercy on me. I've been living a life of sin. 
I've been un unworthy of your grace because of the way I've lived my life. But here I am today. I just want to change. I want a change of life. I want a change of heart. And as you pray, I believe the Lord is listening. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. <clears throat> In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want everybody to pray and say in the name of Jesus. Uh, can somebody say it very well? We are in the mood of prayer already. Say in the name of Jesus. Every element of hell in my life. You know what I mean? The element of hell. Things that are hellish. Things that, are, that, that hell can trace to your life. So that even when you want to enter into heaven, hell will say no. It cannot enter into heaven. She cannot enter into heaven. We have our property and particles in his life, in our life. All those things, they must be done away with. All those things, the blood of Jesus must take them away. And in your life, in my life today, every particle of hell, every element of hell will be taken away in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I want to say in the name of Jesus. Say it very well, say in the name of Jesus, every element of hell in my life, I wash you away by the blood of Jesus now in the name of Jesus. I wash you away now by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Every element of hell in my words, that hell is happy, that, oh, the way he's speaking, he's speaking like us. So he cannot, people in heaven don't speak that way. Every element of hell in my thought thought process, in my thinking, in my reasoning, in my imagination, every element of hell, blood of Jesus, come and wash them away now in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, wash them away now by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want you to add to that prayer, say in the name of Jesus, every particle of perdition in my life, blood of Jesus, wash them away in the name of Jesus. The particle of perdition that can make me to perish, blood of Jesus, every particle of perdition, no matter how little they are, no matter how small they are, I don't want to say it doesn't matter. Lord, I know it matters. Therefore, I pray every particle of perdition in me, Lord of Jesus, wash them away and cleanse them away in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, browse through my life. Oh, Lord, browse through my life. Every particle of perdition in my heart, in my mind, in my life, in me, blood of Jesus, wash them away. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And lastly, I want you to pray, oh God, say, oh God, empty me of everything that Satan has put in my life to take me to hell in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, oh Lord, everything that Satan has put in my life to take me to hell. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I want you to empty me of such things in the name of Jesus. I want you to empty me of such in the name of Jesus. I want you to empty me of such in the name of Jesus. Empty me of everything that the devil has put in my heart to take me to hell by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever that thing is, maybe you enjoy doing it. Maybe you, are, you, are, you even hate yourself for doing it, but it's as if it's hard for you to part with that thing. It's hard for you to part with it. I want you to pray and say, Father, everything that Satan has put in me to take me to hell, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, take them away right now by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You see, the prayer we just prayed, I want to read from the book of John chapter 13, verse 2. John chapter 13, verse 2. You may not need to open your Bible if you don't have one, but if you can, you can read along with me. John chapter 13, verse 2. The Bible says, and supper being ended. The devil, having now put into the heart of Judas Simon's son to betray him. Do you see that? The Bible says the devil puts something into the heart of Judas Iscariot. That's from John chapter 13, verse 2. He said the devil puts something into the heart of Judas Iscariot. And do you know the wonder? Do you know the surprising thing there? That thing that Satan put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, one way or the other, that was what Judas Iscariot did. And that was what destroyed him. He, he died prematurely, and then his ministry ended abruptly. 
he ended his life in shape, is now in hell. Why? Because what Satan put inside his heart, that was what manifested in his life. Therefore, I wanted to say in the name of Jesus. Brother, say in the name of Jesus. Oh, my sister, say in the name of Jesus. Everything that Satan has put in me to use as a point of destruction for my life, everything that Satan has put in me to use to take me to hell, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus remove them now in the name of Jesus. Everything that Satan has put in my heart, everything that Satan has put in my life, everything that Satan has put in my behavior, everything that Satan has put in my thoughts or my thinking or my thoughts process, everything that Satan has put in my action and attitude, everything that Satan has put in my life that is capable of taking me to hell, to take me to hell, blood of Jesus, I pray, wash them out of my life. I remove them by the blood of Jesus. If Judas Iscariot had prayed that this thing that Satan has put in my heart to go and sell my master, to go and betray my master, I don't want it. I remove you. I remove you. I remove you. And he has told Jesus about it. Maybe, most likely, he would not have destroyed himself by selling the master, by betraying the master. I want you to pray anything that Satan has put in me to destroy me, anything that Satan has put in me to take me to hell, I remove you today by the power in the name of Jesus. I remove you today by the power in the name of Jesus. Remove that thing with prayer. Remove that thing in the name of Jesus. It will not destroy me. I am not a candidate of perdition. I am not a candidate of destruction. I am not a candidate of hell. Be removed from my life by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Yes, Father, I thank you because of the time of worship. We bless your holy name and we give God all the glory. Be thou glorified, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, every particle of perdition that is remnant and residing in anyone, every element of hell that is inside anyone that is under this prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, let them be taken away right now by the power in the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. Let them be flushed away right now by the power in the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Be flushed away now in the name of Jesus. Be flushed away now in the name of Jesus. I pray because the Bible said that Satan put into the heart of Judas Iscariot to betray his master. Aya, I pray. Anything that Satan has put in my heart, in my life, in the life, in the heart of anyone under the voice of this ministration, in attitude, in character, in behavior, in way of life, in dressing, in reasoning, in thinking, in thought process that he has put in people's mind, in mindset, that he has put in people's every way of life. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray by your power, let them be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Judas Iscariot did not uproot it. Judas Iscariot did not remove it. Judas Iscariot allowed it to destroy him. I refuse to allow it to destroy me. I refuse to allow it to destroy anyone under the voice of this ministration. I command you, be removed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be removed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, tonight, I pray that you will answer our prayers as we call on your name in the name of Jesus. I worship your name because you have done it, Father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Uh, we have around some 30 minutes more to do some, uh, some prayers. But I want you to pray because the Lord will answer our prayer. There's somebody under the voice of this ministration. I don't know you, I don't know you, but there's somebody here that where you are presently, you are in the midst of where you should have pleasure, but you are having pain. And you, you see no reason why you should, because you should be comfortable, you should be enjoying, but inside that place of comfort, inside that arena and atmosphere of, 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 of plenty of abundance or pleasure, 
you just find that yours is only pain. It's as if the pain of that that is remnant or that is remaining in that environment is yours. And you are wondering why, why am I those? Why is it like this? What exactly is happening? As we go through this prayer today, I am telling you that God, the, 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 the such light and the focused light, the flood light of pain that has focused on you, that has centered on you, God will turn it another way. You will, you will be redeemed from that pain and that uncomfortable life. After the prayer, you are going to have a sweet testimony because pleasure will come. Because the Bible says in this presence, there are pleasures forevermore. And I prophesy into your life that pain will disappear and pleasure will be yours that you should be enjoying in the name of Jesus. Now, let's see the book of Joel chapter 3. The book of Joel chapter 3. In fact, the last verse in the book of Joel, the very last verse in the book of Joel. That's Joel chapter 3, verse 21. Joel chapter 3, verse 21. The Bible says there, said for I, that is God talking here. That's the almighty God talking. Said for I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah there. Say for I, the Lord, I. Now, you see, when someone is talking, you have to, you have to know the credential and the capacity and the capability or the ability of the one making the court, the, making the comment. Yeah, for I, that I, Personal pronoun represent the Lord, the Lord God Almighty, the King of heaven and earth, the one that can do and undo, the one that can do all things, the one that says with God, nothing shall be impossible, the one that has no impossibility associated with him is the Almighty God. He said, I, I. There's another place he says in the book of Isaiah, he said, Behold, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Now, when he was talking to Moses, when he encountered Moses, and Moses saw the bush burning but was not consumed, which was a representation of the children of Israel under Pharaoh's hard rule. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Oh, say, say in the name of Jesus. Every hard master, hard master over my life, you will not rule me anymore. In the name of Jesus, say, Art Master, over my life, you will not rule me anymore by the power in the name of Jesus. Say it one more time. Say, Art Master, over my destiny, you will not rule me anymore in the name of Jesus. Your rule has come to an end. Your reign has come to an end. I am free from you, Art Master, by the power in the name of Jesus. Shout threefold amen 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 so when they were under the hard master terror who appointed over them task masters the bible says god showed moses so moses when he saw he was wondering how can this be let me go and see what exactly is happening how can a bush be burning and it's not being consumed anything burning should be consumed then God revealed himself. He said, I'm, I'm actually the Lord, but I'm coming to you in a new dimension. Somebody there today, God will appear to you in a new dimension. God will step into your situation in a new dimension by the power in the name of Jesus. So God said, I'm coming to you with a new name, not the one that you have heard from your fathers, not the one that you have known with your forefathers. I am coming with a name that I never revealed to anyone. Actually, it's my name. For you are the one I want to make this revelation to. Somebody is getting a new revelation over there. Oh, I say you are getting a new revelation. Come on, say I am getting a new revelation. Come on, say I am getting a new revelation. The revelation that will bless my soul. The revelation that will move me ahead. The revelation that will change my level to the next level. I am getting a new revelation. 
Say it very well, say I'm getting a new revelation. Say it one more time, I am getting a new revelation. You will get that revelation in the name of Jesus. God said, I am telling you my new name. I am that I am. Now, you can see God here, he said, I will. The I am that I am is talking there. He said, I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. Yeah, there's something happening here. And that is what I want you to understand. He said, I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. Actually, this was a prophetic book. If you read chapter, chapter two, you will see prophecies being given. That was where the prophecy of the Holy Ghost was given. And when it happened in the book of uh, Acts chapter two, uh, you see Peter in his message that converted 3,000 souls making reference to this, when the people thought they were drunken, he said, no, we are not drunken. This is the fulfillment of the promise that God has said through the prophet Joel, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall see vision, young men shall dream dreams. He said, that is the fulfillment. So it's a prophetic book. It's a book of prophecy. So here now, he said, I will cleanse. Now, you can see that in as much, that that was futuristic in chapter two. This is also futuristic. And today is the fulfillment of that futuristic declaration in your life. Your blood that has not been cleansed. Ah, yeah. Somebody say, my blood will be cleansed. Say, say, my blood will be cleansed. The blood of my children will be cleansed. Even if you don't have children yet, say, the blood of my children will be cleansed. The blood of my wife will be cleansed. Even if you are not married yet, either your wife or your man say, the blood of my wife will be cleansed. The blood of my family will be cleansed in the name of Jesus. So I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. Yes, the blood of Jesus might have washed you and you are whiter than snow. Wonderful. But the blood needs to cleanse your blood. The Lord needs to cleanse your blood. And there's somebody's blood there. The blood of Jesus will cleanse your blood in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus will flow in your stream, in your bloodstream, in the name of Jesus. That blood will cleanse you <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. Everything that has not been cleansed, your blood that has not yet been cleansed. Has there been a time that you tell the Lord to cleanse your blood? If you have not prayed it before, even if you have prayed it before, you are going to pray it again. And if you have not prayed it before, you are going to pray it tonight. And something unimaginable. Yes. By the power in the name of Jesus. Something unimaginable will happen in your life in the name of Jesus. Something you do not expect will happen in your life in the name of Jesus. All the evil program that is flowing and running in your blood. All the evil sicknesses that are running in your blood, all the ancient causes that are flowing in your blood, everything today will be removed by the power in the blood of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. I want you to begin to close your eyes and begin to close your eyes and be ready for prayer tonight. I've told you if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, I gave you opportunity that time, but if you did not do it and you want your prayers to be answered, you are not giving your life to Jesus Christ because you want to pray so that your prayer can be answered. You are giving your life to Christ because you don't want to go to hell, because you want to make heaven, because you want to serve God, and God deserves to be saved by you. He is your creator, he's your maker. You should serve him. So you need to give your life to Jesus Christ. You need to surrender your heart to him. He needs to be your Lord. He needs to be your master. He has to be your father. So I want you to pray to him and tell him to forgive you. But everybody, I want you to begin to say, thank you, Jesus, because of your blood. Thank you, Jesus, because of your power. The power in your blood. The power in your blood. The power in your blood. I worship your name. I exalt you. I glorify your name. Lord, I praise your name. Somebody worship the name of the Most High God. Tell him, my Father, I thank you because your promises are ye and amen. Your promises cannot fail. You have exceeding great 
rich and precious promises for us. I bless your name because of your promise to purge my blood that has not been purged. And today I thank you because my blood that has not been purged will be purged. My blood that has not been purged will be purged. He said it. He said it there. He said, for I will cleanse their blood that has not been cleansed. I will cleanse their blood that has not been cleansed. Open your mouth and worship the name of God. I give you, give God all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. I want you to say in the name of Jesus. We are starting the prayer, and the prayers are very, very important. I want you to pray them <clears throat> and pray them very well. Yes, I want you to pray them very well. This one, you are going to sit down to pray it. Just where you are, you will pray this next prayer. But the next, after this one, you are going to stand up. Even if you are lying on the bed, you can't pray it lying on the bed because you are going to pray. I want you to say, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Can you say it? Let me hear you say it three times. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Enter into my bloodstream now and begin to purge me in the name of Jesus. Begin to cleanse my blood that has not been cleansed in the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying there, say the blood of Jesus. Enter into my blood now. The blood of Jesus. Enter into my blood now. The blood of Jesus. Enter into my blood now. Mix with my blood because it is written, I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. The my blood that you have not cleansed. The blood of Jesus enter into my blood now. My blood that you have not cleansed. My blood that you have not cleansed. Begin to cleanse them. Begin to clean them up. Begin to purge them out in the name of Jesus. Begin to cleanse them in the name of Jesus. Tell him to cleanse your blood that he has not cleansed. Cleanse my blood that you have not cleansed by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' Mighty name, we are prayed. Pray that prayer once more time. I want you to say the blood of Jesus. Enter into my blood now in the name of Jesus. Pray it one more time. Blood of Jesus. Enter into my blood right now in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Enter into my blood right now in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Enter into my blood now. Enter into my blood now. Enter into my blood now. In the name of Jesus. Enter into my blood. Enter into my blood. Enter into my blood. Tell the blood of Jesus. Enter into my blood. Enter into my blood. I invite you into my blood. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. I want you to rise up from where you are now and pray this next prayer. And the Lord will strengthen you. Rise up on, on your feet and pray this next prayer. I want you to say in the name of Jesus. Oh, you can say it louder than that. You want to say in the name of Jesus. Any evil hiding in my blood, I command you now. Come out by the power in the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Any evil hiding in my blood, any evil hiding in my blood, I command you. Come out by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Evil hiding in my blood, I command you now. Come out by the blood of Jesus. Come out by the blood of Jesus. Come out by the blood of Jesus. Anywhere you are hiding in my blood, anywhere you are hiding inside my blood, evil hiding inside my blood, come out by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, come out by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, evil hiding in my blood, evil hiding in my blood. Anywhere you are hiding inside my blood, you evil hiding inside my blood, come out. Come out by the power in the blood of Jesus. Speak to it to come out by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You see, you have to speak to yourself. You have to speak to your blood. And the Lord will answer in the name of Jesus. Why? Because Jesus spoke to this and the tree dried up. Jesus said you can speak to the mountain. Jesus said you can speak to the sycamore tree. You have to speak to your own blood. You have to speak to yourself. And as you speak, as the tree obeyed Christ, the Lord will make your prayers to be answered. 
this blood of yours we obey you in the name of jesus one more time i want you to say any evil hiding inside my blood come out by the power in the name of jesus pray in the name of jesus any evil hiding inside my blood come out now by the power in the blood of jesus come out now by the power in the blood of jesus Come out now by the power in the blood of Jesus. You don't know the evil that is hiding inside your blood. But as you pray, the Lord will answer the prayer in the name of Jesus. Come out now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any evil hiding in my blood, come out right now, right now, right now. Come out now, come out now, come out now. If you need to pray for your brother, for your sister, for your husband, for your wife, any evil hiding in the blood of my wife, any evil hiding in the blood of my son or daughter, I command you to come out now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out now, come out now. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. You see, amen. You cannot tell what evil is hiding inside your blood. But you know, as sometimes, uh, Maybe some people want to know. Maybe something dangerous is inside. Then you smoke. They will pump smoke or chemicals inside that place. Anything that is hiding. By the time the smoke touches them, they will, they will run out of their hideout and come out to the public. But ordinarily, if they are not addressed, they are not attacked, they may just hibernate there and nobody will know something dangerous is hiding there. So you may not know. That something dangerous is hiding in your brain. Remind me of a particular day. We were in a video. A group of us, a few people, I don't think we're up to 10. Maybe we were six or I don't, I've forgotten our number. So when we were having the video, it was a short video. And then during the video, God ministered something to me. And after the, after the video, I called one of the brothers. I told him, I said, my, uh, my brother, tell your wife to come to the church to come and meet me today. I said, because we need to pray. I said, we need to pray. So when the lady came, she came with her, her elder sister, and they were there together. Actually, the brother just married. I don't think their marriage was up to three months that time, maybe three to five months at, at that time that the marriage was. So uh, I told the lady when she came, I told her, I said, God ministered to me that a battle is about to start in your life this period. But I don't know, but that's the administration I have, that the battle is about to start in your life this period. So we need to pray. So we prayed, and the lady took the prayer very seriously. She took the prayer. We prayed very well. We prayed very well. And the lady took the prayer very seriously. Now, not too long after that, maybe two weeks or, or less than a month, maybe two weeks later, then it's like, she got to know she was pregnant and she went for scan and all that only for them to find that the scan discovered that she was having fibroid and she was not having fibroid because she has run some tests she has run some tests before then no no trace of fibroid nothing but this time they just discovered that she was having fibroid so when i got to hear about it i said don't worry that is the battle that the Lord is talking about, that want to come out. And we have prayed. Do you believe in the prayer we prayed? She said she believes it. No worry. God Almighty has answered that prayer. Do you know that miraculously, miraculously, the, the way the fibroid went away, we cannot tell. Because I know not only that prayer, actually, uh, other people also involved, they were praying with her and all that. But the long and short of it was that the way the fibroid went away, but he did not, they were thinking maybe when she wanted to give birth, they were going to operate the fibro, they were going to operate the baby and all that. Nothing. She just delivered a baby without any CS, cesarean operation, delivered with no fibro disturbed her because God revealed that there was a bad to that. But mind you, if that revelation did not come and we did not, that would have become a battle in her life. She would have struggled with fibro. She would want to deliver the baby. They will say it's operation, cut the fibro, this and that. There may be loss of life, loss of the baby, loss of her own life, and other things. God revealed. That thing was hiding there in our blood, in our body. But God revealed it. I don't know what is hiding in your blood. But as we pray today, the fire of God and the blood of Jesus mingled with fire. 
we enter into your blood. In the name of Jesus. Can you shout it louder? Amen. One more time, I want you to shout in the name of Jesus. Oh, you have not said it very well. Shout in the name of Jesus. Any evil hiding inside my blood, come out now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Any evil hiding inside my blood, wherever you are, I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. I permit you no more. Wherever you are hiding, whatsoever is your purpose of coming into my blood, come out by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every cancer, every evil, every high blood pressure that is hiding inside your blood, come out by the power in the name of Jesus. Come out now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every diabetes hiding inside, come out in the name of Jesus. Maybe those ones that are to manifest when you are older. Maybe those ones that are to manifest when you are very old. Any evil hiding in my blood, no matter when you have been programmed to manifest, to come out and become a backing that will trouble me. Come out today. Come out today. Come out today. Come out today. I speak to my blood in the name of Jesus. I speak authoritatively into my blood. Any evil hiding inside my blood, come out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want you to say in the name of Jesus. Oh, you can say it better. Say in the name of Jesus. Every program of Satan inside my blood, I reject you. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Pray every Satan, every program of Satan inside my blood. Every program of Satan inside my blood. Come out now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out now by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Now, I am not so much a medical person, and I do not have much of that knowledge. Maybe you are listening to me, you have much of knowledge, but the little I know, a lot about the analysis of a human being, of a person, can be decided by the blood analysis. A lot about who the person, the personality of that person, what can happen to the person in a few months' time, and all that can be detected just by examining the blood and analyzing the blood. Because the blood has a lot of things. You just see a drop of blood, you think it's ordinary. <laughs> that, drop, that drop of blood, that drop of blood carries so many information that is more than you can think about. Because a lot. A lot can be examined and be decided and be driven out to conclusion through that draw of blood. The blood is important. Your blood is important. That's why you are speaking to your blood. I don't want to know whatsoever is the program that has been evil, that has been programmed by Satan into your blood. By the power in the name of Jesus, raise up your right hand and receive this prophecy into your life. That evil program in your blood, I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. I said it should come out in the name of Jesus. I said it should come out by the power in the name of Jesus. Somebody, are you ready to pray the next prayer? I want you to say in the name of Jesus. I want you to say in the name of Jesus, evil of my father's house. Say it very well. Say evil of my father's house. Say evil of my mother's house flowing in my blood. Come out in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Evil of my father's house flowing in my blood. Evil of my mother's house flowing in my blood. I reject you today. I reject you today by the power in the blood of Jesus. You hear what the Lord says? And I told you it's prophetic. Just like chapter two, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh is prophetic. This is also prophetic. And now is the time of the fulfillment. Or today is part of the fulfillment of that ancient prophecy. You will pray. He said, I will claim their blood that I have not claimed. That your blood that God has not claimed is about, is cleansing it now. Is cleansing it now. I want you to pray. Evil of my father's house flowing in my blood. Evil of my mother's house flowing in my blood. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, pour them out now in the name of Jesus. Flush them out now in the name of Jesus. 
Flush them out now in the name of Jesus. Flush them out now in the name of Jesus. Flush them out now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. The next prayer, you are going to pray the same prayer, but in two or different forms. I want somebody, if you are sitting down, this is not the time to sit down. I want you to rise up upon your feet and say, inherited problems in my blood. Come out in the name of Jesus. Pray every inherited problem in my blood. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Do you know some of them are not manifesting yet? They have a time they will manifest. Inherited problems in my blood. Come out in the name of Jesus. Inherited problem in my blood. Come out in the name of Jesus. Hereditary problems in my blood. Come out in the name of Jesus. In your heritage problem inside my blood. Come out from my blood. Come out from my blood. Come out from blood by the power in the name of Jesus. Come out from my blood. Inherited problem. I do not permit you to stay any longer. Come out from my blood now. Come out from my blood now. Inherited problem in the blood of my wife. Inherited problem in the blood of my son and daughter. Come out by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. That's the particular sister that I know. You see, the mother, she, she, I don't think the sister, she, she should be in her 40s. I'm not sure she would have been able to reach 50 years of age. She has a mother that I know, I know, I know. The mother had high blood pressure, you understand? The mother has high blood pressure. And then she's, she's managing the high blood pressure. Of the, unfortunately, herself is having high blood pressure, you understand? She's treating the mother, she's treating herself. She's managing the problem, she's managing the problem for herself, she's managing it for her mother. That's what we are talking about, inherited problem. Somebody raised up your right hand and receive this prophecy into your life. Every inherited problem that is programmed into your blood to manifest any time, at any age, at any moment, at any futuristic period, today I command them by the power and the blood of hear the word of the Lord. Come out in the name of Jesus. I said, come out in the name of Jesus. You will not be a, a repetition of the battle of your of, of the problem of your mother's and your father's lives in the name of Jesus. I said the prayer we're going to pray two or three ways. And somebody I want you to shout in the name of Jesus. Oh, I cannot hear you. Shout in the name of Jesus. Say, inherited battles in my blood. I cannot hear you shout inherited battles in my blood. Come out today in the name of Jesus. Pray every inherited battle in my blood. Every inherited battle circulating in my blood. Every inherited battle flowing in my blood. Every inherited battle that is running around in my blood. That is carried about by my blood. I command you to come out. I command you to come out by the power in the name of Jesus. Inherited battle, come out in the name of Jesus. Inherited battle, come out by the power in the name of Jesus. Come out by the power in the name of Jesus. Come out by the power in the name of Jesus. Inherited battle, hereditary battle in my blood. Hereditary battle circulating in my blood. Hereditary battle flowing about in my blood. Hereditary battle carried about by my blood. Come out by the power in the name of Jesus. Come out by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want somebody to shout, Holy Ghost fire. Shout, Holy Ghost fire. I want you to shout, Holy Ghost fire. You are going to say, causes in my blood, causes of my bloodline flowing inside my blood. I say, very say, causes of my bloodline flowing inside my blood. Break in the name of Jesus, causes of my bloodline flowing inside my blood. Break in the name of Jesus. I break you in the name of Jesus. I break you in the name of Jesus. I break you today in the name of Jesus. Causes of my bloodline flowing inside my blood. 
I break you by the power in the name of Jesus. Causes of my bloodline flowing about in my blood. Causes of my bloodline circulating all about in my blood. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. I break you today. I break you today. I break you today. You have somebody there, you are not breaking it. Break it in the name of Jesus. I break you inside my blood. Causes of my bloodline flowing inside my blood. Break in the name of Jesus. Break today. Break today. Break today. Break today. Break this day by the power in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name mighty name we are prayed you see there's a way that you know is passed down from one from parents to children it's a bloodline thing it's a bloodline thing it's a bloodline thing there's a way it goes from from fathers to children from children to grand to, to grand it goes that way if it's not broken and on your life if we break in the name of jesus your life will stop that flow that evil flow that negative flow that flow of evil in the name of jesus it flowed you see Adam, uh, abraham had delay in childbirth he gave birth to uh, uh, to isaac after 25 years and then you see Isaac also, before Isaac would give birth to his children, uh, Esau and Jacob, it was 20 years, 20 years of waiting. Jacob himself, the wife that she, he really loved, that was uh, uh, Rachel, uh, 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 that was really, before Rachel would give birth, oh, it was a tug of war. You have to say, give me children or I die. There was like a crisis. Am I God that I should give you children and all that and all that? It, was, it flows from the blood. I pray for you and I pray for myself. Every evil, every cause flowing in my bloodline, in your bloodline, we break in the name of Jesus. Say it very well. Say evil of my bloodline flowing in my blood. Causes of my bloodline flowing in my blood. I break you in the name of Jesus. I break you in the name of Jesus. Every cause of my bloodline that is flowing in my blood, that is running in my blood, I break you. I break you. I break you by the power in the name of Jesus. I break you by the power in the name of Jesus. I break you by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Two or three prayer points more before we round off <clears throat> today's prayer program. And the Lord will answer you, he will answer me in Jesus' name. I said, the Lord will answer you, he will answer me in the name of Jesus. I want you to shout in the name of Jesus. You see, I always tell you to shout in the name of Jesus because the name of Jesus is our battle cry. Amen. Hallelujah. When you shout the name of Jesus, you shout the name of Jesus ahead of you. It's like somebody sending a missile ahead. So that every entrance, every obstacle, every enemy that is along the way already, the missile has finished them. Then you are coming behind as a conqueror to establish and to dominate. That's what we do. When you shout in the name of Jesus, then the name goes ahead with fire, with thunder, with sword to cut off every enemy that is hanging and hiding. Then when you come with your prayer, the prayer has free flow, free flow, free flow into God's presence to receive answer. And that's why we're shouting in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout in the name of Jesus. Shout in the name of Jesus. My blood, reject every sorrow in the name of Jesus. Pray, my blood, reject every sickness in the name of Jesus. Reject every sickness. Reject every sickness in the name of Jesus. There are lots of sicknesses that are attached to people's blood. My blood, reject every sickness in the name of Jesus. Reject high blood pressure. Reject every diabetes. Reject every cancer. Reject every terminal disease. Reject every blood-borne disease in the name of Jesus. My blood, reject every sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. I want you to repeat that prayer one more time. Shout, my blood. Speak to your blood. Say, my blood. Reject every sickness and disease by the power in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. My blood, reject even the ones that are there already. The ones that are hidden there. The ones that are hiding there. The ones that are lurking there. Blood, my blood. 
Reject every sickness, reject every disease, reject every sickness, reject every disease by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we are prayed. You will have to pray that prayer one more time. Many years ago, over 10 years ago now, about like 13 years ago now, okay, like 14 years ago now, like 14 years ago, eh, someone we had prayer overnight. She was a lady. <clears throat> Over the night, uh, she called me on phone. We were we were far apart. It's not less than four to five hours journey uh, in, in Nigeria here. We are, we are far away. So, but we communicated through phone. This person has been sick. From one sickness to another, from one sickness to another, from one sickness to another. She has not been enjoying her health for a long time. And then it came to about that period, about that period because I didn't treat this sickness, treat that sickness, treat that sickness. So they came to for a long time, what I've known now for like four, five, four, four to, to five years before that time. And the sickness, sickness, she, she will be well for some time, she will be falling. So they now decided, her father decided that, okay, what I want to do is that I want to, I want to go for a comprehensive test. Just not exactly what is wrong with you. So that was the decision. They were planning to do that. So it was in the process that she called me and I said, okay, let's pray tonight. So eventually we prayed overnight. We prayed together. I led that form of the prayer, something like this prayer we're praying. I led her into some series of prayers. And then I prayed for her, some authoritative deliverance, warfare, powerful prayers. After the prayers, then we handed the VG and then they were, then the next day, the VG handed around two or three, I've forgotten. The next day, when she woke up in the morning, maybe around six or thereabout, surprisingly, she she just discovered that she, her body was swollen up. Her body was swollen up. And the people were surprised because they, she had been living there. She was in their house. She had been living in the house. She had not woken up before. They knew her and her body was swollen. So, what has happened to you? So, since her body was swollen, you know, they were wondering what has happened, but she knew in herself that a miracle had happened. Can I tell you, brothers and sisters, till today, they are not, not going for that comprehensive test because God healed her. That was the end of all those strange, strange sickness that she didn't know anything. In fact, at another time again, when she called me, we prayed that same prayer again. She had the same experience when she woke up the same morning. Since that time, nothing left, nothing of a strange sickness. I prophesy into your life. Ah, yeah. Anywhere you are, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, any strange sickness hiding in your blood, your blood will reject them now and they will come out in the name of Jesus. I want somebody to shout my blood. Reject every strange sickness in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Even if you are not sick now, any strange sickness or disease that is already entered into your blood to manifest at a certain time later in life, let your blood reject it. My blood, reject every strange sickness by the power in the name of Jesus. My blood, reject every strange sickness by the power in the blood of Jesus. My blood, reject them. Reject them. Reject every strange sickness. Headache, reject them. High blood pressure, reject them. Malaria, typhoid, reject them. Cancer, ulcer, reject them. Reject every diabetes. Reject every high sugar level, every low sugar level. My blood, reject every sicknesses and diseases. In the name of Jesus, reject all sicknesses and diseases now, 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 in the name of Jesus. If you are sick already and your blood has been tested and they have said you are sick or something, one thing or the other, I want you to pray this prayer very well. Pray very well. Pray very well. See my blood. Reject. Mention the name of that sickness. Reject this sickness. If there is a sickness that's common in your family, that almost everybody has that sickness. They have the high blood pressure. They have the high sugar level. They have the diabetes. They are dying of blood breast cancer, colon cancer, uh, clinical cancer. I want you to pray and say, my blood, reject every hereditary sickness in you in the name of Jesus. Reject every sickness in you now, 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 now. Come out of you now. My blood, reject them, repel them 
refuse them, rebel against them, and push them out. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The last prayer. Ah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to pray the last prayer, and the Lord will answer. Yes, we answer. Yes, there's somebody there. There's somebody there, right there where you are. There is a divine presence that has just come to where you are. A divine presence has just come. A divine presence. A divine presence has just come. And the divine presence is working out something. Yes, thank you, Jesus. It's working out a surgery in you. A surgery. Removing something that is blood related as a problem. Yes, yes. Yes, while we continue this prayer, it will perfect, it will perform and perfect that thing. You are free. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Last prayer, final prayer. I want somebody to say, you see, where we read, that's the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 21. The last verse in the book of Joel, it said, For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. He said, I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. I want you to pray that final prayer. Just what we have prayed there. Say, Lord Jesus, my blood that you have not cleansed, cleanse it now and forever in the name of Jesus. Now, why you have to pray that prayer is that it's not only sickness, it's not only causes, it's not only calamity, it's not only evil. There are some other spiritual things. There are some sins too, you know, that one way or the other, they flow in people's blood. You will see some people that it will just be as if it's a, it's a problem for their, for in, in their family that they are always into one thing. It might be addiction, maybe addiction to pornography or fornication or to, you know, uh, 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 something like uh, maybe cigarettes. And even the one that is born again, he seeing himself drink, smoking in the drink. He won't smoke in the physical, but in the spiritual, he will be smoking because it's in the blood. It's in the blood. You see this one, he's born again, he's sanctified. He will not want to commit fornication. He will not want to but in the dream, he will see himself committing fornication and he's wondering what is wrong with me. You see that one, he's a child of God, he's prayerful and you will not see him that is he's, he's, uh, he's telling lies like his father or his mother will tell lies or drinking like his father, his mother will drink, but he will be drinking in the, and he will be wondering, why am I drinking? You see, there are many things that the blood of Jesus is supposed to purge that has not been purged. But that's what God says. He said, that's your blood that I have not purged. That particular of your blood that is remaining for me to purge, that I have not cleansed, that I have not washed, that I have not undoed, that I have not uh, uh, taken care of. He said, I am going to cleanse it. And that's what you want to do now. I want you to shout in the name of Jesus. This is our final prayer point, And it's only once we are praying, the shout in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my Father, my blood that you have not cleansed, I am available now. Cleanse it now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, Lord, my Father, my blood that you have not cleansed, I am available now. Cleanse it now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my Father, my blood that you have not cleansed, I am available now. Cleanse it now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Cleanse it now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Cleanse it now by your power in the blood of Jesus. Cleanse it now. Cleanse it now. Cleanse it now. Cleanse it now. Cleanse it now in the name of Jesus. The blood of my wife that you have not cleansed. Cleanse it now in the name of Jesus. She's available. Cleanse it now. The blood of my son, the blood of my daughter that you have not cleansed. They are available. 
Oh, Lord, my Father, cleanse it now in the name of Jesus. Cleanse it now in the name of Jesus. Pray very well. Say, my Father, oh, Lord, my Father, my blood that you have not cleansed, I am available, very readily available. Cleanse it now. Cleanse it now. Cleanse it now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The Lord has answered our prayers. Let's worship the name of God. Let's exalt the name of our God. Let's give him the glory. Let's give him the honor. Let's give him the adoration. Let's give him the thanksgiving and say, Father, I thank you. Let's say, Jesus, I worship your name. Let's say, Father, I give glory unto your name. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. We'll sing this song. It's a popular song that you know. Just let you God. You see, God is, to, is the Bible says, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. In the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness, beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is most on the side of the north, the city of the great king. Is worthy to be praised. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the work thy hand of me. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy path throughout the universe displayed and sing my soul and sings my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, and sings my soul, then sings my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior, God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. I want you to worship the name of God and bless him. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I give glory unto your name. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Shall we pray together? Almighty Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I bless your name because of your mercy. I thank you, Lord, because of the time we have spent praying together. May your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Thank you for the revelation from your word. You said, for I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. Eh? For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. Thank you, Lord, because you, you have the power. I will do. I will 
you have the power, you have the ability, the capacity, the capability to do it. May your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Yes, I pray for that individual that a divine presence came into where you were to begin to perform an operation and surgery. The work is completed now. In the name of Jesus, I declare you free by the power in the name of Jesus. I declare you free by the power in the name of Jesus. Ah, who is that person that is carrying an ancient cause, an ancient cause in his blood? Because it's the cross, ancient cross of your bloodline. I break it now in the name of Jesus. That ancient cause of your bloodline flowing inside your blood. By the power in the name of Jesus, I break it. By the power in the name of Jesus, I break it. By the power in the name of Jesus, I break it in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Every sickness inside your blood. Every sickness inside your blood. The sickness that, that come to people when they are older in your family. Maybe when they are past 40 or 50, that's when it comes into the life of people in your family. I say you are different. Oh, your case is different. I said you are different. Therefore, I command every of such sickness carried by your blood, every of such ailment and disease carried by your blood, I command them to come out in the name of Jesus. I command them to come out of your blood in the name of Jesus. Is there somebody there? Yes, there is somebody. Hallelujah. You have been tested and your blood has been said to be having some contamination. That is why you are weak. That is why you are sick. That is why you are not strong and agile as you used to be. They said your blood is contaminated. And they said it's, it's a thing of the blood that they, 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 they will still decide what to do about you. There are options, but they want to look at the best for your kind of person. I pray in the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus flow inside your blood now. Let the blood of Jesus enter inside your bloodstream. Let it enter into your, blood, into your veins and arteries. Let the blood of Jesus enter into your heart, the heart that pumps blood. Let the blood of Jesus pump out of your blood, pump out of your heart to everywhere in your body. And it's pumping out, it's pumping out and flushing out all the contamination in your blood. Receive a new blood in the name of Jesus. I said it in the name of the Lord. Receive a new blood in the name of Jesus. Those of you that you are, you are tired of your genotype because there is a crisis in that genotype. The blood of Jesus flow into your bloodstream now and the blood of Jesus work a miracle of genotype change in the name of Jesus. It's possible. It's possible because with God, all things are possible. The blood of Jesus walk a genotype change in your blood now in the name of Jesus. I pray for everybody here. The Bible says, if she shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. I ask that every evil I deem in my blood, in your blood, every evil that is hidden in anyone's blood, hiding inside anyone's blood, Come out by the power in the blood of Jesus. Come out by the power in the blood of Jesus. I declare your blood free by the blood of Jesus. I declare your blood free by the blood of Jesus. I pray for everyone that has participated in this prayer today. The Lord visit you to your foundation. The Lord visit you to your foundation. Ah, I heard it. There's somebody there that the avenger of the blood is after people in your family. And there are some targets. It's not everybody, but there are some targets. And the avenger of the blood have their criteria for determining the target. And they always kill those targets. And there have been people that have been dying in that family. And uh, you have met their criteria. You are one of their targets. Only that they have not, they have not, they have not descended on you to kill you. I pray right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I will cleanse their blood that has not been cleansed. The blood stain that your generation is guilty 
and they are taking the vengeance over the generation that, that the, the descendants of that person and you have met that criteria, let that blood be cleansed, not only for your sake, but for the sake of the whole generation. Let that blood be cleansed. Let that blood be cleansed. I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. Mercy of God. Mercy of God. Mercy of God. Cleanse. Cleanse. Blood of Jesus. That evil of that generation, that blood guiltiness of that generation, Cleanse everything in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for everybody. It is well with you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keeps you. The Lord promotes you. This month of February, you are going to enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in Jesus' name. The miracle you are looking for, I decree, let it locate you in the name of Jesus. Your testimony will be mighty and you shall be free indeed in Jesus' name. Any test you run after this prayer, we turn now to confirm that the Lord has done miracle in you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Yeah. We thank God for our Father, Lord, has helped us today. And we really thank the Lord. And I believe that God has really blessed us. One more time, I want to appreciate the grace of God in the lives of the uh, admins of this deeper life by which your singles. You are doing a great job, and I'm glad to be a part of your uh, story. I believe that the Lord will continue to strengthen you, give you more vision as well, or more uh, inspiration for better things, because we are impacting lives and the. Uh, God will reward you abundantly in Jesus' name. For everybody that has satisfied tonight, I say the Lord bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Over to you, Sister Princess. God bless you too. Thank you so much for leading us in this prayer. God bless everyone who connected. I hope you were blessed. I hope your, <clears throat> your needs have been met and that you are leaving this place very light and very happy because God is working on your behalf and testimonies, please, when you get your testimonies, please do well to share, to encourage the faith of other people on the group, on the page, on the YouTube channel, everywhere. If you want to pray more, you want to go back to this prayer and pray anew, you're free to go on the YouTube channel. We're trying to upload them. We have a, a long backlog and we're uploading them as soon as we can. And please do well to go look for the prayer it will go by year and month so if you type the month or the year in the search um, area you'll be able to find the prayer period that you want to uh, pray along with during your work as you drive you can just put it in your ears and mobile the words of prayers and god hears your prayers you don't have to be in this close up area anywhere you are you can always be connected to heaven and God will continue to do you and do me and every one of us good in Jesus' name. God bless you real good and see you next month. It's always a blessed time when we come and gather together for this prayer and God has been doing us well. I can tell you, I have testimonies. This is a great support for us as admin members. It has been a great, great support. You know how Moses got help from the hands of Joshua and and is it non? I've forgotten the uh, the exact name. Or or yeah, thank you so much. So, yeah, so I this is a great help that all of you guys that are praying, some of you we don't know uh your names and we don't know your faces, but we know that some people are praying for us. God will continue to help us to stay and remain at our uh, our duty post to continue as much as we try to in season and out of season to come with the lives to come with the videos on the youtube channel and continue to pray for us don't stop your prayer is working and tomorrow again we're going to be on our live uh we have a live every saturdays when we don't have a program we have a live where we just talk real live talk real talk and we just answer questions that are recurrent on the group. And we are working on how we can bring you guys on so you can ask your questions live. So while the, quest while the live is going on, you can always type your question. We're always watching out 
um, on the page comment section to see questions that are coming on. And God helping us to be able to do more for the group. More things are coming on. The Lord will help us to do more for you. And we'll all be a blessing to one another. God bless you as you continue to be courteous and nice to everyone that you come across, both on the group on, and outside the group. Anywhere you find yourself, do what Jesus would have done. God bless you. Have a good evening. Ah, it's evening for me. It's morning for you. Have a good morning. Have a good evening. God bless you and see you. Next, see you tomorrow and also next week, Friday. God bless you. Bye. I mean, I mean, tomorrow for the live and first next month, first Friday, which is the third of March. Thank you. Bye.